So before I even went to the project, I stayed here for a couple of nights in this hostel in Alajuela, which by the way makes the best banana pancakes in the world. Alajuela was basically the Lechworth of Costa Rica, so there wasn't a whole lot to do, but it was nice to have somewhere safe where I could just start to overcome the culture shock. Then I took a very long bus journey and slept the entire way. And then I was here, at the house in Matapalo, where I would be staying for the next two weeks and spending my free time relaxing in hammocks, eating coconut, and generally just chilling out in the garden. Not to mention checking out some of the amazing wildlife that was around, like this butterfly that seemed to really love bananas, and this sloth that liked to hang out in the trees in the back garden, and this bad-tempered crab that decided to steal my towel and look at me like it hates me. On my day off, I went on a tour of a mangrove swamp on a boat ride that was a lot more terrifying than these clips make it appear. But we did get to see some whales and dolphins, which was pretty awesome. Then I spent some time on this beach for a while, which allowed me to relax and recover from the boat ride and find a hell of a lot of hermit crabs. But ultimately, the most important part of this trip was not the wildlife or the beach or the crabs, but it was the conservation work that I came here to do. Sadly, I couldn't film while I was working, so here's some leaf cutter ants working hard instead. Basically, on top of ordinary cleaning duties and housekeeping duties around the house, we would have to do beach patrols at night, which meant walking 12 kilometres up and down the beach to see if any turtles were laying their eggs and taking the eggs back to the hatchery. We also had to do hatchery watches, where we would have to basically make sure that the eggs were okay, and then, if we were lucky, we would get to see this. An actual hatching. And this is the moment where it all becomes worth it, where it all really pays off. Because when you look at this new life coming into the world, and realise I was a part of this. I helped to allow these creatures to come into the world and increase their chances of survival. It's just an amazing feeling, even though I know that only 1% of them will end up surviving to adulthood. It's still incredible that you've managed to get them away from poachers and dig nests that will allow them to hatch in safety so that they could maybe, just maybe, end up surviving. We had to make sure that they made the journey to the sea on their own because it's the chemical composition of the sand that allows them to know which beach they were born on and allows them to come back as adults, if they're females, to come back as adults and lay their eggs on the same beach where they were born so that the whole cycle can start again. This is Diadem, signing off.